Hello, good afternoon. So, uh, I'm back here at the College of Science okay, to discuss the support that I gave you. Okay, so, it will be not be fast, but we're going to check it. But I can solve it at uh, home because of the limited space. Now, sorry, but this post will be quite late okay. since we had a hard time waiting for the maintenance bringing the key to the classroom. Okay, so uh, this is the given problem. Okay, so I'll be start. Uh, I'll start solving it, okay? I'll make sure I'm finished now. So, uh, so like the 30, okay? As the time we're in, the room was open, it's 2.30, okay? So, I'll start by combining these two, R1 and R2, and R3 and R4, so it's a parallel naman yan. So, pwede na pagsamayin, that's the first step. Now, ang ginawa ninyo is, pinagsama ninyo muna, okay lang naman yun. Tapos ito, okay lang. But, para magandang lang yung mga illustration. But still, mas pa lang tapong sabay na. Okay? So, your next diagram will look something like this. Okay, so I think you can see it. So, we will combine R1 and R2. Okay, so this will be RA. Okay? Now, value for RA is just two resistors. Okay? So, R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So that is equal to 2 times 2, which is 4, divided by 2 plus 2, which is 4. Then. So 4 divided by 4, that is equal to 1 ohm. Okay? So we will take the value of R3, equal to 3 ohms. And then, for R3 and R4, we combine them, we get Rb, okay? R sub B. So what's the value of R sub B? Again, two sisters in parallel. R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2, or in this case, R3 times R4 divided by R3 plus R4. So that is 4 times 4 divided by 4 plus 4. So 4 times 4 is 16 divided by 4 plus 4, 8. So 16 over 8 is equal to 2 ohms. Okay, so we have the value for RA, 1 ohm, taken from R1 and R2, and we have the value for RB, 2 ohms, taken from R3 and R4. So the formula that we have for Okay, so finally our last illustration. Okay, so this is our total. Now our total is equal to the sum of the three resistors. Kasi naka series yung yung tanda sila. So we have 1 plus 3 plus 2. Okay, so we have 6 ohms. 6 ohms. Okay, so alagay natin sa final rate. This is 6 ohms. And then we have... 12 volts, total voltage, and your current, of course, that is equal to 12 divided by 6, so you have 2 amperes. Okay, so you have, uh, I think that's it. Okay, so you have a current of 2 amperes. Okay, now like the examples before, one resistor turns into 3, well, that's the fifth shot into 3 resistors. And then you're going to, going to analyze what circuit. Okay, so our total is split into 3. So meaning, series siya. No? So, ang constant mo is yung correct. So, ano man ang correct na R total, yung correct of that flow. Okay? So, meaning, ang correct mo is 2 years. So, your IA is 2 years. Your IP is 2 years. And your IB is 2. So, ang lahat ng current mo is 2. So, pag may current ka na, may value ng currents mo, pwede ka na mag-solve na voltage EA. E3 and E B. Okay, so we're not going to solve it. So we have an R, we have an I, so let's multiply it to get the voltage. So that is 1 and 2. So we have 2 volts in the 3 na na, in your voltage in the third resistor. It is 3 times 2, so you have 6 volts. Okay. And dito naman is 2 and 2. Okay? So you have 4 volts. So now Kompleto na sila, we have the value for R3. So, we move to the original problem. Your E3 is 6 volts. Okay? Your I3 is 2 amperes. Okay, so, let me tie it up. May isa na. Now, we, from here, dito tayo sa main problem. Okay? So, mag-split yung RA into 2. Yun. So, from RA, 
it becomes R1 and R2, which are connected in parallel. So meaning, a constant parallel is voltage. Naman ang voltage nun, yun ang voltage ng dalawa. Okay? So kung 2 volts to, meaning this is also 2 volts, this is 2 volts. Okay? So may voltage ka na, meron ka na ng resistance, pwede mo masolve yung current. So 2 divided by 2 is 1 here, and then 2 divided by 2 again is 1 here. Okay, now for the last part, RB, RB splits into two. Okay, so R3 and R4. So RB mo from here to here, they are connected in parallel. Okay, so meaning whatever the voltage in RB, you know voltage mo R3 and R4. Okay, so that is 4 volts. Okay, so 4 volts now is same as R3 and R4. So it is 4 volts. Okay, so we have ng 4 yan, pwede mo po yung mga current nila. So E and R, E and R, that is 1 ampere, 1 ampere. Okay, so all in all, natin 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 sila. So pwede mo naman check ito na, ang voltage mo is uh, 4 plus 6 plus 2, kung muna kasiris pa sila, so equal as 12 volts. Okay, the current mo rin, the current mo is still 2. Kasi 1 and 1, tapos pinagat mo yan, 2. 1 and 1, pinagat mo 2, tapos ito 2. So, 2 amperes of minute dito, 2 amperes dito, 2 amperes dito. So, constant yun. Correct. And yung voltage mo naman. So, I think that's it. So, I'll be going back now. I'll be going back home. And I'll be uploading this video. So, then you can check your receipt one. Okay? So, I think that's all. And, anyway, we'll continue the discussion.